Hi guys, welcome back to For the Love of Nutrition. When it comes to eating and snacking, try to keep your food associated with just your kitchen space or your dining room table. Try not to bring full packages or bags into the living room, the couch, or in front of the television, because we know what can happen then. When possible, pre-portion out your snacks, particularly if it's something you know is a trigger food. Something as simple as a little reusable plastic bag or reusable glass container helps you to keep that portion size in mind. Perhaps you've heard of the phenomenon when it comes to portion control for your foods, taking the same portion and putting that in a smaller container or on a smaller dish can give you the illusion that you're eating more than you actually are. Penny, do you want to demonstrate that for us? When it comes to evening activities, think about the reason you're going to reach for the alcohol. Is it because you're stressed or you've had a hard, long day? Perhaps it would be just as soothing to take a nice, long, hot bath, kick back and relax and watch a movie, or warm up a cup of decaf tea or coffee and enjoy sipping that under a cozy blanket. If you do decide to have a drink, just be mindful of your portion. Try to use a glass that's smaller and more narrow. It will give you the illusion that you're drinking more than you are. <laughs> 